beautiful soul. How are you today? Dr. Destin is here today to encourage you. This is what I am being called to do here on this YouTube channel is to empower you, to help you to become your best and better version of whom you were created. So I have a word. I have some words here that I have written in my notes. And I'm going to share some of these words today because I want to enlighten you as well as to empower you and to encourage you. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Beautiful Soul. And guess what? Today is Sunday. It's a beautiful, amazing day. And everything is great. So how, how is everything on your side of the world, wherever you may be? Beautiful people, let me say this. I am Dr. Destiny. I'm a holistic health and a nutrition coach. I teach us here on this platform about the whole man, which is the mind, the body, and the soul. Because this is how we were created as a whole being in the beginning of creation. When the creator himself created man by blowing his breath into the, into the nostrils of man. And man became a living soul. He was the whole man. So, here, let's talk about this word. I got my notes. I'm going to read this to you. And I'm going to empower you today with these words. I'm going to read them right off my note. We find that we are meant to live and to go on. And yet, for the overactive and for those who are fighting themselves through life, it is said, be still. One of the greatest things for the person who wants to be quiet is to know. To all you who are weary, tired, frustrated, and you're a heavy laden, follow me and I shall give you rest. This is a slowness of the fast pace which is expected of us in this world today, in this multitasking world that we live in today. We are constantly trying to keep up with everything and everybody. But the Creator is calling you alone to a place of stillness and quietness. Be still and know that He is the almighty, powerful Creator. He wants you to rest. People, it is truly an irritational world, a tiring world, a competitive world, a frustrating world that we're living in today. It's a frightening world. There are so many things happening, but he wants you to be still. Be still, he says, and know that I am People also, this world is truly a very speedy one. We are constantly racing to the finish line, which we never make it. We are constantly running, but we stop because we are trying to show ourselves like, hey, you know, look at me. But we don't put our focus on the key points. This world, my people, it is an overactive world as well. And this world also is an overpowering world, very overpowering. So this is what I want to encourage you today. Walk the upright man. Walk the upright woman. Be still and know that the creator God is walking with you. He said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. He said, I will be with you even until the end of the world. So what is your problem? Why are you frustrated? Why are you so anxious? Why are you so overactive? Why are you competing? Why are you not trusting in him and leaning on him to direct your path instead of leaning on your own understanding? Be still, he says. You got to know that he is the almighty God. He's within you. Walk upright, man. Walk upright, woman. Keep your focus and your eyes on him. 
because he will never leave you. But if you take your eyes off of him, you're going to miss the mark. So, again, I think we have to deal with this world from a spiritual standpoint. If we are going to be well physically, totally, absolutely. If we want to be well physically, people, we're going to have to walk in a spiritual standpoint. Like I said, keeping our eyes in front of us, I will focus on him, the creator of this universe. People don't forget that you can't have sweet thoughts with a sour stomach. You better hear that. You cannot have sweet thoughts, people, with a sour stomach. You cannot have positivity with a negative mindset. You cannot have those pure energizing thoughts with negative thoughts running rapidly through out your mind. People listen. The physical body is a manifestation out of the invisible. It is the end result. And that is something that you must understand. It is the effect of our thoughts. As the Bible says, as a man, or even as a man or a woman, think it within his or her heart, so they become. Guard your thoughts. Be empowered and be encouraged and be uplifting. Trust in him. Lean not to your own understanding. Because he knows the path. He knows already where he had predestined your life to go in the direction that you need to go in so you can become your over accelerating, your 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 successful, your transcending, your energetic person, that being that he had created for you to be. People, let me tell you, thoughts, they are things. They are things that you allow to build up in your mind. And thoughts can be positive thoughts. They can be negative thoughts. You got to guard your thoughts. You got to guard what you're thinking. And before you allow those thoughts to come out of your mind, check them. Check them before you allow them to slip out to make sure that your thoughts are aligned with the divine higher power God himself. Because thoughts are things. To get acquainted with it, or get to get acquainted with all your thoughts, people, you gotta control it. You are in control of your thoughts. How are you thinking what you're thinking? Because he already has placed everything within you. He's a positive God. He's our energetic God. He, he's all powerful. He's all forceful. He never put negativity in you. So you have to want to control your thoughts. The nicest thing that I can tell you in closing is this, and I want you to listen. Thou shalt have dominion over all things that flies, people. And you should have dominion over everything that is around you because you are the manifestor. You are the creator. You are the creator of your reality and your dreams. People, listen. And all we got to do is to trust him. Is to allow him to lead and guide us in the path that he already predestined. Thou shalt have dominion again over all that flies. And have we got the fussy things to take care of? Yes, we do. We have all of that. Thou shalt have dominion over all that swims. He has given us power. He, as he told us to have dominion, take dominion over all things because he put man in charge. Have dominion over those little fuzzy things. Everything in the universe, we have to trust God my people and there are troubled waters sometimes that we're going to have to go through 
literally speaking the troubled waters but there are troubles that comes in our lives sometimes just like a flood and it's running constantly we gotta take dominion over those things too yes there are gonna be troubles there's gonna be storms there are gonna be floods there's gonna be earthquakes there's gonna be all kinds of things and storm like that comes in our life take dominion he's given you power over those things yes he has that should have dominion over all things that crawl on the face of this earth. See, he's giving you that power. But you're giving back your power to everything else, everything on this earth, to people and to everything, whatever it is. You're taking your power and you're giving it back. You're, you're throwing it back. And just like saying, whatever God has given you is not good enough. That you don't trust it, it to use it. Use what you got because he placed it within you. People, there are a lot of crawly things that can get into your consciousness and can mess you up. And I'm not just talking about the physical things out there, the little crawly bugs and ants and things, but your thoughts, the way you see things, the way you perceive things, your negative vibes, your negative energy, the negative people that you allow to come into your life to influence you. They can get into your consciousness. They can get into your mind. They can get into your life and devour your positive position that he has placed you in. They can take you out of the power, out of the position that God has placed you in. And all these things, people, it can disturb you. It can distract you. It can destroy you. And it will definitely distort you to such an extent, people, that you can wake up in a havoc. You can wake up a wreck. You can wake up believing that you are those negative things, that you are what people are saying about you that is so negatively wrong. You got power and dominion. Take that power and dominion that he has given you to rule over this world. So people, listen. Get out of the rut. Get away from those negative energy vampires. Get away from those negative things, those negative thoughts that you even think in, the negative thoughts that you allow people to come in and flood your mind. Get away from it. Get away from the runs. People, take up your bed and walk. Lift yourself up from the dungeon. Kick the cage door open people and spread your wings like that eagle it's time to soar it's time to fly lifting your eyes to the hill when it's coming your help because he already told you you got the minion to do this you got the power to do this you are more than a conqueror you can do this because he already has placed everything that you need the power that you need within you take the minion people lift up your bed and walk Lift up your consciousness, my people. Lift up your consciousness and walk. Believe in the greater one that is in you. Greater he that is in you than he that is in the world. You got the power to do this. You got this. Walk up right, man. Walk up right, woman. He has given you that power. He has given you that dominion to do that. Find the good life. And then I want you to live that life to the fullest. You live that life every single day. Yes, negative things gonna come around you, but it's how you handle it. Yes, negative people gonna shoot things off in your direction and try to push it down your ears, but then you have the right and you have the power to resist, to turn your deaf ear to it. Find a good life. And I want you to live that life. Live your life to the fullest. Live your life full and die empty, people. Let it flow. Let the goodness, let the, the vibration of the creator of the universe, let all this goodness, let us, all his power, let everything that he has created for you to be your greatness, your, your, your best and better version, let all that people flow through you. Then you will have no hyper activity then you will have no hyper activity. And then you won't live in troubles. You won't live in frustrations. You won't live in a world of negativity. You won't live in that place of putting yourself 
down and, and you won't live in that place of not seeing your beautiful authentic self you will have you will not be in those troubles people I'm telling you physically mentally and spiritually because he had given you power and dominion he told you take up your bed and walk he have told you, I've given you power and dominion over everything in this earth. And by means, people, he said, nothing shall hurt you. Be encouraged, be empowered, be uplifting, and trust in him. Because he already knows the plans. He already knows the thoughts and the plans that he has predestined for you to live. And he wants you to go and live out to be your greatest and best version. Be encouraged. These are words to encourage you and motivate you and to inspire you from Dr. Destiny. I'm going to talk to you at the next video. Namaste. Namaste, my lovely people. Beautiful soul, I love you. All my beautiful souls out there, I love you. But God, the creator of this universe, the all that is, the magnificent, powerful God, creator of all things, he loves you more. Namaste again.